Hey everybody, Basket here. Today I want to work on the library, uh, do some cool redstone contraptions. The first thing I want to do is I want to test to see um, how these guys interact with sticky pistons. So I figured I'd do that on camera with you guys. Uh, you can't pull these guys with a sticky piston. Well, that kind of ruins one of my plans, but not the main plan. That was just an extra little thing I was going to try and do. I wanted to do a, a block swapper where it would pull it down and then replace it with just a uh, a stone brick, but I guess you can't. These are sort of obsidian things, and you can't move obsidian with sticky pistons, so I guess that's not going to happen. Um, anyway, so I'll clear out a little bit of space underneath here, um, and then do a little bit of research on uh, sticky pistons um, and some of the more complex stuff I want to do here, um, and then I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, so. Um, I've been spending the last uh, two or three hours just trying to uh, put things together to see if they'll do what I want them to do. Um, this one is one of the worst ones. but um, So basically what the idea is, is that here's the bottom of the bookshelves. I want to have four sticky pistons, or well, four pistons push up gravel to push the bookshelves up so that the gravel then falls back down. And then another mechanism that will close the opening. Um, so the the inspiration for it is from Vintage Beef's uh, uh, Porculus on his uh, castle. Um, the But his is only three pistons, which makes it a little bit easier. Uh, but in either way, I looked up the design for that, and I didn't quite like the way it worked. Um, so I'm going to redesign that, but I'm going to redesign it a different way. So, um, so I think first, I'm going to, because I know that I have at least a, a one or two um, new, uh, newer to Minecraft watchers. So here's a couple basics. There's a regular sticky piston. I'm sorry, a regular piston. When you hit it, it'll push up blocks, but won't retract them. Then we have sticky pistons, which will retract again. And a regular sticky piston with gravel on top, push it up. And then the gravel has gravity, so it falls back down. Um, another mechanic about sticky pistons. So you can push other sticky pistons which works just fine, but if the top one that you're trying to pull is powered, the bottom one will not pull it back down. It has to be unpowered first. So, that's a couple of basics. Um, so, the the three piston pushing, so imagine that this is, I just rotated it just so it's easier to, but imagine that it's up and down. So, um, I've numbered them to try and make it easier to figure out which ones to be turned on. Um, so to actually push everything up, it's just one, three, five. So now I've pushed up the gravel. And then to retract it, it's five, three, one. But then this one didn't get retract because it doesn't, when they're not powered, they're not retracting. Um, so then you need to also then power two and then unpower two. And now it's back at the beginning state. So the gravel can fall all the way down. So then now I'll, I'll set up the example for a four-piston setup. All right, so here's an eight pit, or I'm sorry, a four-piston setup. So to power it, it's just two, I'm sorry, one, three, five, and seven. So now the gravel is all the way extended up. And then to unpower it, we have to do seven, five, three, and then power four, unpower four. And then do one, power, unpower, power, unpower. So you need to program all that in redstone. Um, there's basically two different parts to it. One is the, the part where it needs to power up every other, and then unpower the same ones that it just powered up. Um, but, the, but then it needs to take a break in a couple spots so that the power on power, power on power can cycle through. So um, there's going to be four pistons on here and because a lot of the designs they'll have everything on one side but um, I think what I'll do in the cases where I want to power one of the um, odd ones or I might just have all the power on power I might just build it on the other side uh, just because I have the space so there's not really any reason to try and get it all on this side. Um, but I'm going to, I need to design all that. I might try and do some of the 
um, some of the locking techniques on these guys. So if you have them side by side, you can, uh, let me get some, um, redstone torches real quick. Um, you can, uh, send a signal through and then you can lock that value. So if I get some more redstone, All right, so if we have this and this, so right now if you, the signal goes through, and then but if you get rid of the torch, the signal stops. So you can get start the signal, and if you run a, another repeater into a repeater, it puts this locking mechanism. So if you if you get rid of this torch, it keeps the signal that it had before. All right, the same sort of way if you uh, unpower it. Um, right now it's off, and now you've locked it, and if you power it, it'll be off. So I think I'm going to try and see if I can use some of that technique to make the uh, powering sequence uh, keep these ones on uh, along the way. But I'm going to put down some pistons. I just want to show you this part of the logic that I ran into. I, was, I tried just, just sort of putting it together to see if it'll work, but I need to think of it more as a, um, as a sort of a programming experiment um, to actually try and get the four pistons to, to do what I want the whole um, because they don't retract they, they don't stick when they're not powered so it's um, so it makes it a little bit trickier so I'll clean this up a little bit uh, put down the pistons and then uh, come back to you with the uh, with some of the wiring all right so here's a couple of the uh, redstone things I'm going to use for this side uh, oh, and actually, yeah. So here's all the pistons. Um, there's the four uh, pistons, um, three sticky ones, and then one non-sticky one on the top row. Um, because the, um, I think it wouldn't really matter, but there's no reason to stick it to the actual gravel. Um, so I've just um, made the top one non-sticky. So on this side, it's the one, three, five, and seven. And then on this side, it's two, uh, and four, and then one of the the up and down spots is actually on three. So this line here is going to be where, uh, when I want three to go to be powered and unpowered, I'm going to power it from here. So basically, this powers the even sides, and then this powers the odd sides. So over here, um, the first thing here, this is, well, okay, I'll start with this. So I'm going to eventually there's going to be a button up there that when you hit, it's going to run this whole thing. But the the buttons last for longer than I want the pulse to go through. So each of these, uh, when you hit a button, I think it's like ten uh, ticks, two, ten redstone ticks. But I only actually want two to go through because two is enough to toggle this guy, and then I think to toggle the piston. So this here is to convert this click into just a two pulse or two tick pulse. So. If you look over here, this thing is a, a T flip flop, I believe is the name for it. Um, there are a couple, saw a couple different designs, but this is what I went with because this way I can run. I'm going to run one into here to power it originally, and the pulse is going to go up and then come back down and then re, re hit these to change these. So if we come over here, if you watch that line there, right now it's on. When I hit it again, it turns off. When I hit it again, it turns on. So this allows me to hit this one button, um, and then I'm going to cycle through, and then it's gonna come back down, and then I'll, I'll delay it a little bit when it gets to the part where um, I need to wait for the other side to power and power and unpower some stuff. But otherwise, this is the basic idea. So I need to put uh, get some stuff ready for these guys in here, um, and then I'll uh, wire some stuff up, and then I'll come back to you. All right. And so this mess is the the odd side of the whole thing. Um, so uh, the actual signal when it's all done will come down there, head into there. Um, in the meantime, I set up this little temporary button here. So if you notice, they're all off. When I hit it, they all turn on, going up, and then going all the way back down. Um, and then I need to actually delay let me look at my notes. Um, need to put a delay in. Uh, 
when it gets to when it depowers three. Right after that, I need to put in a delay before it gets all the way down to one. So it needs to have another four ticks. All right, so let me uh, figure out how to. Okay, well, so a couple things I ran into in case you're trying to build a similar design. These things um, I had set up, but it turns out I need to stagger them because these torches were conflicting with the layers below them. Um, I also tried this elevator, redstone elevator that I have, or redstone signal elevator I have going up. I tried doing torches, but that kept on messing up with my signals. Um, so I have uh, have it just going up, stair stepping up, um, and then I put in this note block just so I could hear it. And here's the con converter for the signal, so that it goes down to two ticks. Um, and then this is the, the track it goes down. And so as it goes down, it hits, I have a couple ladders over here and there. Um, let me go up this ladder. So this is the top. Up here, I didn't, I turned out I didn't actually need one of these because I'm just going to power it and then unpower it. Um, okay, so I need to... Uh, I think by four is what I need to decrease it by. So before it gets down to, and then this is a, a clock I was doing to make it automatically hit the button over and over. So this line here, um, let me double check. So D power three at 12. So I'm doing two ticks between each, each round. So I'm depowering three at 12, and then I need to depower one, actually six after. So. I think that I'll need to put two repeaters in, this one at two and this one at four. Um, and then that, I think that will delay the bottom one the most, or delay the bottom one another six. So the other part of the process here is that on, let's see, this round, um, I don't want to conflict with this cable, so I'll actually bring this down a little bit. So I need to start, I need to deep, I need to toggle um, four at 14. So I will put this cable in here, bring it down just to make sure I don't run into the other cables. And so I need to depower that at Uh, I keep on forgetting, at 14. And power it and then depower it at 14. Er, yeah. So power it at 14. Get rid of some of these guys. Okay, so I think I will... I might need some repeaters in here, actually, so that'll work out. So that's 4, 8. Uh, get some more redstone going. Four, eight, twelve, and then I said s fourteen, so two. So in theory, that should be right. And then I need to um, two or four ticks. I think four four ticks, but I can adjust it if I'm wrong. Um, four ticks after this guy goes. I need to depower this one. So I will put two ticks on there. I just said four, uh, and that's actually three. So we'll do okay. We'll do four ticks. It's going to depower that one, and then according to my notes, the next one actually I need to depower is this one up here, which it needs to actually be, I think, another two ticks after. After, I think I'm going to change this one over here to four, or to two. And then we'll see how this works. So I'll head up to the button, uh, which is right up here, my observation spot. So in theory, this might get everything back down to the bottom. Let's see. Sort of. 
to the bottom. Didn't actually. Why is that? For some reason, the bottom didn't turn off. All right, let's look at the side. So there's some issues I have to work out. I'll work. Out, I'll, I'll mess around with the redstone for a while, and I'll come back when I have it figured out. All right, let's give this guy another try. have it. Now I'm going to set the, the button on a timer just so I could get everything timed together. I ran into a few issues. Um, a big one was the two, uh, these guys that I made. Um, it turned out that this guy is, needs to be here to slow down this process. Um, I was running into problems if I ever tried to make um, these any more than two. It would end up uh, not flip-flopping properly. Um, the other thing I ran into is that in my thing when I planned to power three from this side, it turned out that um, if there was a space open above this guy, when this guy powers, it would actually power um, the one below it or something like that. Either way, what I ended up doing is I changed it so now it's powering four, two, and then actually going back to powering four after that. So I ended up not powering three um, over here, so I can get rid of these. Um, so there you have it. It's a mess. I, I might clean it up at some point, but I spent quite a bit of time trying to get this to work. Um, so I'll leave this part as it is for now. I'm going to put gravel on this eventually, but first I want to get the other pistons up top. Um, and get some of the wiring up there. Um, and the other thing I will show you that I have set up, let me turn this timer off. The other thing I have set up up here, this is, um, this is the, right there is where the button's gonna be. And half the time, or every other time I wanna power these guys that will push everything down. So there'll be pistons up here. Um, and then the then the other time I want to power the bottom stuff. So what this button does is it allows the it's kind of hard to see I guess, but um, well I guess this connects all the way up. So every other time you can hear everything firing. So nothing happened there except for this piston changed. When you hit that, you can hear all the stuff happening down there. So when this line goes down all the way down there, and then this line will come up and power these pistons that I'm going to put in and they'll push everything back down. So I'll go ahead and put these pistons in and then uh, and then we'll hopefully see it in action. Alright, so I have the pistons in place um, and the redstone runs along here. The idea of these delays is that this guy fires first and then two ticks later this guy and then two ticks that one, and then two ticks that one. Um, I don't have, right now I think anything isn't pushed up, so what I'm expecting to happen is that when I hit the button, um, all these torches will be broken. And then these pistons will retract, and there'll be a bunch of torches sitting there. Um, so let's see what happens. And it might, the first push might be the bottom floor, so we'll see. Nope. Interesting, so it didn't break the torches, but it did put everything about where I expected, so I think that worked. Now if I hit it again, it should be the basement. Yep, okay. So let me uh, get the gravel in place downstairs, and then uh, we'll see if this actually works. Okay. So the moment of truth. Um, I think I will hit the button from out here. Just so we can see it happening. If it doesn't happen, then we can go back and hit the button again. But let's see what happens. Not much. Oh, that might have been the, the top. Alright, let's try again. There we go. Okay, so, torches fell. I expected that. This, I expected to be one level higher than it is. And I expected that to be pushed up more. 
So I really hope I didn't build this whole thing too low. Because that would be a bummer. Um, I can actually, even if that is the case, I don't think I'll be exceeding the maximum limit if I, if I do that. Let me ponder that. Okay, let's try again. So I hit this button, this should push everything down. Except for this guy. Interesting. Hmm. Why didn't that push down? Uh, oh, because I don't have any pistons there. How did that happen? Did I build this over too far? Oh, I built... Uh, okay, so I'm going to move this all this way one. This is all in the wrong spot. Um, actually, that should be quick. I'll just do it on camera. And then that one, I'll get when I'm up there. Grab these guys. I can get rid of levers. Break this redstone. So I just need redstone right here. And let me get up there. I have to grab this other piston. Um, and I can keep... Um, I have to figure out how to get up there. There we go. I need a piece of redstone right there. And then that'll, that'll still react to all those. So I'll grab those pistons. Swap those out. Um, so we'll get up here. And then I have to. Okay, so now I just have to extend um, extend the redstone. I guess I'll do it from over here. So redstone, redstone, and redstone. Let me get some more redstone going. Okay, a little more. kind of dark up here. All right, so then this should still work. That'll push that down. I won't do it. The first push I do, it'll push everything back up. But I, I had it just moved over too far. All right, so let's try this again. So this should um, push everything up. Interesting. So it's breaking... So I have some sort of something wrong with my circuitry because it's, I think it's actually breaking a row of gravel. Uh, but for now, we'll just manually put in another row. So then this would expose whatever I have behind the bookshelf. When I hit this, it should push the bookshelves back down. Not all the way though. I think maybe I have this too high. Yeah, I need to actually move this down. Yep, I will uh, move that down off camera because that'll take a while to redo this. All right, so I moved everything down. Um, I think that this will work. Um, I'm not pointing it directly at the things, but I believe that this will still power um, these pistons. Maybe, we'll see. Um, this still doesn't quite seem right, actually. Um, what am I missing? Oh, I'm missing a row of pistons. Uh, right. Let me put in a row of pistons. So I put in that row of pistons I was missing. Now let's see what happens when I hit the button. So right now, um, it just pushed everything down, it looks like. So this will probably push everything up. And I still don't know. Let me see how many how much gravel I have down here. Um, is there an easy way to find that out? So I have lots of holes to fall into. So I think I have. Oh, I do have four gravel, uh, but not five gravel. Hmm. Well, let's just see what happens. Let me get up top. Let's see what happens. So this should push everything up, hopefully. 
except for that one thing I I got rid of this. Okay. So for some reason, if I put an extra row of gravel, it's breaking it. So that's a problem. Uh, but in theory, this will push everything down and probably be a little bit short. But let's see what happens. Um. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. So did this. Hmm. So this top one didn't didn't push it down, I guess. Because that should be pushed down. Well, let's push it again down here. How many times can I say the word push? Alright, so to that. Okay, so I have these set up wrong. I need to be. Um, let's see. Maybe if I put. some blocks up here that will be enough to power the top guys I think let's see what that does okay push it again I think it's also I think all my gravel keeps on breaking sure seems like it I have to figure out why that is uh, let me put some, I'll put some gravel in Um, not that much, actually. Because this should be the resting point right here. So let's see. Um, I'm not sure what... Oh, uh, that should be fine. Okay, so this should be... It should all be down. I'll have to come back to <laughs> So I have moved everything down um, and hopefully this will work. Um, I need to probably replace some of the gravel down here um, and then also I guess I will move that bookshelf. Uh, silk touch, yeah. I'll put the bookshelf where it should be. And hopefully that will work. Okay. Um, so put some gravel in there. I guess I will, yeah, I still don't know why the gravel's breaking, oddly, but that's right, so I'll hit this button and see what happens. So it breaks a bunch of gravel. What I want to see is, will this push everything down um, to where it should be? Maybe I'll manually trigger these guys and try to see what's happening. Let's make a quick lever. It should be enough for up here. So if I just do this, come to the side. It also okay. So the top one isn't triggering the way I would expect. Uh, and it seems okay, so I'm, I'm obviously doing something wrong here. I'm not sure why these are triggering. I don't think I need repeaters on all these. So let me turn this off, and I'll start messing around with this top layer. So I think I've solved the gravel problem with it breaking down. I added this little delay here, um, which for some reason seems to help. Um, also, um, I believe this area up here is all fixed up. Um, I, I forget 
where I was last time, but I think I've lowered... It doesn't look right at all. Oh, and now that I've fixed the bottom, this is all wrong, so I will uh, fix this up too. <laughs> Be right back. I think it's actually working now. Alright, let's give it a try. I think right now it's going to go up. Yay! Okay, so then this would be replaced. I'd have stuff back here. Let's go ahead and hit it again. <laughs> uh, Alright, one second. Alright, I put in a repeater. Um, so, right now I should be going up. Pushes everything up, good. And now let's cross our fingers. Wow, that took... A really long time to do this whole project. So we'll hit it again. Awesome. Right, so back here there's going to be chests and other stuff regarding enchanting. And uh, I have no idea how long this episode is right now because I'll probably be cut it up quite a bit. Um, but I'm going to clean this up a little bit and put some stuff back here. Um, I'll see how long the episode is and either uh, split this up into two maybe. Or um, I might just show you what I did on the back if it's if the rest of it is good for one episode. I don't know, we'll see. Um, if this is the end of the episode, thanks for watching.